This is the Sig Sauer P227 Tactical. Uh, not to be confused with the 227 TAC Ops, which was just released. Uh, this is the high, ca high capacity version, and when we say high capacity, we mean it comes with one 14 round extended length magazine. It also comes with a standard, uh, standard length uh, 10 round 45 ACP magazine. Just going to quickly show the pistols clear. The P227 Tactical comes with a threaded barrel. The barrel itself is DLC coated. That's the diamond light coating. It's an extremely durable and wear resistant coat. The pistol has SIGS E2. That's the enhanced ergonomical grips. It is a one piece grip and it will include a grip removal tool. It has raised suppressor sights. These are great if you're going to actually use a suppressor. If you're not going to use a suppressor, it's less important. But for somebody who's going to shoot suppressed, what you'll find is that you, you can better uh, see your target with the sights. Uh, they, do, um, they do sit higher, and uh, it, it'll actually sit and allow you to view uh, the target. Whereas with standard height sights, you typically end up having to co-witness through the suppressor. It is double action, single action. It has front strap checkering and the front of the trigger guard is checkered and it does have an accessory rail. The 227 TAC Ops ships with one 10 round and one 14 round 45 ACP magazine. The 10 round is a flush fit. The 14 round is an extended length magazine. The sleeve can be removed. There's a tab here. Let me see the full size mag body. If you happen to have a P250 uh, chambered in 45 ACP, the magazine should fit, but it may require you to remove the, uh, the extension of the, off the bottom. I'm also going to show the mags for comparison to show you um, what the mags look like when they're mounted in the pistol in terms of overall clearance. So here's our flush fit mag. This is the extended mag, and it adds quite a bit. 